moving from side to side because it's cold in here. Um, don't you agree that love is the key? Well, that is the name of one Danish charity that's had that has made its way to our shores to give back. And we've got the founder here. Her name is Joan Vedel, and she's with me now. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Welcome to Smyrna, Jamaica. Good to have you. Thank you so much um, for being here. You are, you are in fact, home, eh? Because you've been here for on and off for about six, seven years. Yeah. Okay. I think the whole universe is your home. But here I feel very good. That's a very, yeah. very profound and deep concept there, madame. Thank you. How did you end up, though, in this part of the universe? Tell us a story behind that. Um, I fall in love with a Jamaican Rasta man. <laughs> and I fall in love with the culture yes. and the Jamaican people. So I'm here in the winter. And I live in Denmark in the summer. Okay, can we talk a little bit about the Jamaican Rasta man, or you don't want to? You are very welcome. Yes, go ahead and tell us about him, because he's big in the, in the music, in yeah. reggae music. He's a big inspiration for many people, because he's very uh, big in the reggae music. And through his music, he do a lot of teaching. And he help a lot of uh, black people who is in Europe. And it's difficult to be in another culture. Mm -hmm. Then you get some teaching, teaching through music. And that's a big inspiration. And I think it's the same I try to do here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. to teach people to help each other. Papa Kervin is his yeah. name. And yeah. he was a drummer with Boney M, but yeah. he's been in this thing for a long time. Yes. Um, so he had a vision of, of spreading love through reggae music, no yeah. color. Uh, no acknowledgement of color, race, class, nothing. No. And this is largely a part of your vision as well, Joan. Tell me how your charity came, yeah. came about. It came from when I was six years old. I watched a movie called Roots. I don't know if you know Very that powerful one. powerful movie. Yeah. With Kunta Kinta. Yes. And I remember it strongly because I cry a lot. And at that time I told my mom, I said, I want to do whatever I can do in this world to help black people mm -hmm. because I'm very sad what the white people That's at did. six years old, you had that consciousness. Yes, and it was strong, I tell you. Wow. So I start to do uh, some charity by raising some money and go to Africa and help uh, people in Ghana in a village with a pump system for the water. Mm -hmm. Then I move on to other Caribbean islands and now I'm in Jamaica and I get a lot of help and support from people in Denmark. I'm from a rich country, so there is opportunities for companies and private persons to do support to Love is the Key. You've helped groups of people, you've also yeah. helped individuals. Sean Fraser yeah. you've helped, is a, who is a footballer. Sean Fraser come to Denmark and sit in a hotel room. He's a football player and he was freezing and freezing and freezing. So the football club called me and said, you know this culture, can you please help him? He want a contract in Denmark. And I take him in my home for three weeks and give him a lot of love and good food and <laughs> take him to church and <laughs> stuff. And he get actually a contract in Brazil. Excellent. Yeah. So you've done work in Jamaica, you've done work in Guatemala, you've been to Africa, you said you've been all over with this yeah. charity. And we have a table here filled with shoes. Right. So tell yeah. us what's going to be happening here. Yeah. And this where did you get so many shoes? I have to give thanks for a lot of people in Denmark that collect the shoes. This is new shoes, this is running shoes, this is shoes that maybe cost 300 US in the shop. People who do triathlon, mm -hmm. people who run, they use the shoes one time That's and it. then they put them aside. Then they, se they send them to me and I have to wash them. <laughs> And for people here in Jamaica, it's a good opportunity to get something good on your feet. Yeah. So I've been all over the island. I've been a, in a lot of girls' home because I have this small girls' shoes mm -hmm. here. And How I've do you choose who benefits, Joan? How do you choose which charities you're going to give to? Because there's so much need. There's so much need. But I think my heart lead. Okay. Yeah. That's and a good you send way. up you send up uh, a wish to help and then I think the people you need to help stand in front of you. Yeah. Somehow on your life road. Yeah. So there's a lot to do and it's a lot of joy to come around and be the person who give out. It gives a very good feeling and that's the reason why I don't make my organization bigger so you have a lot of administration. Here I go direct and you get the That's direct right. connection That's right. and you, s you save a lot of money for this big organization and I really hope a lot of more people would 
do the same because it's a fantastic feeling. So this is about joy for you, inner joy. Yeah. It's not about recognition. No. It's not about, you know, oh, congratulations, Joan, you're doing a really good job. No, 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 no. Yes, no. this is about giving back. It's about giving back and it's a pleasure here in Jamaica, especially because I love your children all over. Mm -hmm. The children here are so grateful. They sing, they dance, they... When you come with something, they are so fantastic. So it gives a lot. And we I are. send it all back to everyone in Denmark that support and help us and send down a uh, thing for this mission. Okay, so you, you will be giving these out. You've already decided where you're going yeah. with these. We had 2,000 shoes. Now we have 1,000 shoes. And oh. we've been on a lot of uh, homes. We've been on infirmaries. We've been in the middle of the street in Oracobesa, in the middle of the street in Linston, and just share wow. out, and you see people walking light and bright now. Oh gosh, I can <laughs> see it in your eyes though. This is something that really powers and feeds your soul. So. This is my mission. And this is your you blessing, are. because when you give like this, yes. it comes right back to I you. I tell you. Yeah, so yeah. thank you for this. This is really fantastic work. And thank you for coming and sharing your story with us. Yeah. Um, founder of Love is the Key, and obviously from what she's doing, it's, it's, it's clear that she's filled with love. Um, yeah. Joan Vader with us this morning.